Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kip Anchor Network and Armorama, and we've got another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we've got from MiniArt, uh, from our folks, uh, friends at MRC, the European Tram. Now this uh, kit has been in various forms of uh, announced release for quite a while now, so it's good to finally see it out, and it, it looks like it's uh, from the box cover artwork. It's going to be pretty amazing. Um, the I think this type of kit has been available before in a specialty resin release, um, but this is the first time, obviously, modelers will get the chance to to build something or incorporate something like this into maybe a, a large scale or a, a medium scale diorama for um, for you know uh, various World War II towns and things like that. So, uh, without further ado, let's just take a quick, quick look here uh, at the outside of the box. Uh, you can see that uh, there is a base with the uh, tram uh, electrical wiring, and then of course the the tram itself. Um, we would call these trolley cars here in the United States, but obviously over in Europe they call them trams. Uh, of course we call them trams here too, but our trams tend to be wheeled things that run around with engines, uh, like at Disneyland and so forth. Um, so right away you can see there's just, just you know, picking this up here, there's just a lot of plastic in here. Uh, it's a very heavy box, so I wasn't surprised uh, to see all this plastic. Let me go ahead and get the big, they, Bini Art puts their stuff in a large bag to start with. And I'm going to resort to scissors, I think. Because, uh, it's, not, it's not light flat. It's not light. Super light plastic wrap. All right, well, so here we go. Uh, let me get all this out in one fell swoop, maybe. Get that crackly plastic away. All right, so here we go. Uh, I said that already. So these pieces are kind of interlocked. I guess they're just stuck here. But you can see these are a duplicated sprue tree. Uh, probably the front and rear uh, of the like the top of the of the tram and then maybe it's at the floorboard areas maybe I'm not sure or the roof could be the roof so uh, there's two two of those pieces and they're duplicated and then we have a set of clear here and this is all the side windows and such there will be some photos at the end of this unboxing so if you want to get a better look at some of these uh, they're going to be in the photos not in the video I don't, I don't do the video close-ups anymore. It's, it's just not worth it with my camera because of the focus and trying to, you know, keep a, some one, one person on, I think on YouTube or on the site said, well, just do a fixed focus length, you know, down here, which is actually what I'm doing. That's it. The focus is way down here. Um, but the problem is if I take it off that, then it's going in between and back and forth. And it just, it just doesn't work. Someday they'll invent uh, webcams or something that, that does this better, or we'll have like perfect, perfect vision stuff where it, you know, it's just perfect. All right, so you can see here's a lot of little detail parts. Um, uh, we've got issues, in, uh, things like this. Let me try this at least. Maybe this will give you a better, better, a better look. See. Um, so yeah, this, here's some of the uh, underside, I believe, motors and things like that. Um, a lot of fine detail here. The plastic production for uh, mini art can be very, you know, like in terms of especially some of their maybe their older mold stuff. But this looks like it's really good. This looks more like their more recent tank releases, which I guess now are um, being issued by somebody else. Like for instance, here's a spring, and there actually are the spaces between the spring. So, and it looks like there may be a little bit of flash in there, you know, so it didn't quite come out exactly. And I know you can't, again, here, let, for this one, let me go ahead and, because I'm kind of talking about it and doing it, let's see if we can get it to focus. See, this is the, this is the difficult part. Come on, camera, there we go. So there you can see the spring. There actually are, you know, in between the little springs, you can see I can put my fingernail in there, so there are that the spring is actually independent. That's that's a pretty amazing piece of plastic manufacturing just right there by itself. And again, I'll get some detailed photos of this uh, for the uh, uh, at the for the end of the review. So, and moving on, we've got uh, some of the um, some of those posts for the electrical uh, wires and things like that. Um, a lot, lots of little details too. Here are some really small little hook elements, um, and again the same piece, I believe. Yes, and then we have another small detail part piece with just really, really small grab handles and lots of little detail pieces here. Um, just very, very small stuff. I'll get you some photos of that. And these are three, three, four, four of those. 
and then uh, more uh, more little kind of uh, add-on you know pieces again. The tram is obviously very complex in terms of all the underpinnings and the and the actual uh, the way it works and and so forth and so on. Uh, in terms of mechanically, I mean. Uh, so here's some of the, uh, I think the suspension, undercarriage portions. Uh, all the detail looks good. I don't see any flash issues uh, other than like on these pieces, which I will go ahead and zoom in here so you can kind of see right off what I'm talking about. Oh, I did, I did have it on. Oh, wait. No. Autofocus. Actually, let's go ahead and try this. We'll just... I'll skip this or cut this out. I'll just go to max. All right, so you can see um, here what I'm talking about, where I have my finger. Actually, let's see if I can just put my hand there. So you can see there are some small uh, areas there where there's just a little bit of um, kind of flash overhang. I guess it's more, uh, more noticeable here. Come on, camera. I guess I have it too far in. There we go. So can you see that right here, let me get my finger down there. Right here, yeah. So yeah, I'll get some photos of that. It's but it's yeah, you know, two minute cleanup, not, not a big deal. Um, but again, so, you know, just showing showing some of these small pieces, which is I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm doing it anyways. Uh, so yeah, you've got lots of little detail bits in here. Uh, the same, that's the same. This is the same sprue just reversed and turned it over. Um, so you get two of these. And then, uh, switch back here, uh, we've got this one, which uh, I'm going to have to open, obviously. Oh, no, yeah. I'm not going to have to open because it's open on the end. And this one is doors and other structural parts. It's the same, the same unit. And again, not seeing any kind of major issues with this, uh, other than it's really minor, little small. Yeah, I don't even. I was gonna say small bits of flash, but there really isn't. There really isn't anything there. Just it's almost like your your, your eye sometimes makes you think there's something there, but there's not. So yeah, good good overall production quality on this stuff. Um, Congrats to MiniArt for really coming a long way over, say, the last, since we first started looking at their kits, um, probably, what, 10 years ago or more. Um, yep, good, good. That's the same piece. And here's the base. Um, now, the big issue for, uh, for a lot of the, the these types of material is these raised parts, which are part of the... Part of the uh, vacuum process right for these for these types of pieces um, and uh, the this one doesn't have that many there there would be really easy to clean this up if you wanted to nick them nick those off and essentially get them out of there which you, you would want to do that essentially you know for you know for what I'm talking about again here's the little the little nipples so you know in say the larger area here see there's a whole area where really there's a couple you don't see that many so and they're not that pronounced. Uh, and then, what do we have for our decals? We have uh, this small decal sheet with some numbers on it, obviously. And then the manual, one little piece of renegade plastic, looks like just a uh, fill, not even real actual part. And uh, again, they have a parts overlay, which I think you're gonna use everything on this one, yeah, so uh, this has never been released before. And uh, here's all that, all those parts. So I guess that was the floorboard area, the 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 slat slatted bit, and going through all the way to final steps. So you can see even from these sheets, though, excuse me, that there's a lot of detail here. There's a lot of little parts. I mean, you're really looking at you know quite complex kit. Uh, I'm not sure it said how many parts were on the box. Let me see if that's there. Of course, now I have all these pieces I'm going to try to be careful with. You definitely want to probably treat these with a little more, a little more uh, delicacy than I am doing because I'm in the middle of doing a video. But um, let's see, it has 609 parts. So 609 parts is not a small amount for any 
any kit, although there are obviously kits with more than that, but for the size of this rail car, or tram, I should say, uh, rail car. No, it does not go on a train. Although it does look like they can hook up to each other like a train, but it doesn't appear to. Uh, maybe you can hook two of them up together and have them, you know, for busier tram sections. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at some photos of these parts close up, though, and we can come back and conclude. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed those photos, and I think they do show that the kit really does have a lot of fine detail. Um, it's uh, certainly going to be a unique um, model kit for uh, European World War II era right around there. I mean, it could be used, I'm sure, for a range of time periods. Uh, these, tra these trams, at least here in the United States, were in, in use in the early 1900s, so I'm not sure when this particular tram model dates from, but uh, some people can maybe point that out in the comments. Um, so again, uh, thanks to our, uh, thanks to MRC for providing this kit and, uh, thanks to the folks at mini art for making it. And we'll, I'm sure see more of this as well as, uh, get a better, uh, maybe built review of this out, uh, to you guys at some point. So you can kind of check out how the, uh, how the build, how it goes together in ter terms of all the parts fitting the 609 parts fitting together. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below and, uh, have a good one.